Our Buffion's trip was slowly drawing to a close, but what a trip it was. We started our journey in the quaint little town of New Bethesda and then made our way to the Addo Elephant Park where we met up with our travel companions. We entered the Buffyons Kloof from the west and drove east through the mega reserve. The beauty of this World Heritage Site is simply breathtaking. We had one last epic destination planned. We're currently at the Eidspan campsite in the Buffyons Kloof and we are on our way to Storms Rafir mouth. In between we're going to Willowmore to do a bit of shopping and to explore the town a bit because there's quite a few things to do. Then we end up at Storms Rafir mouth. I'm very 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 excited for that because I've just seen pictures but I've never been there. Let's go! With the drastic landscape change, we knew we had said goodbye to the Buffyons Kloof, for now. Willowmoor is described as the western gateway to the reserve, and it offers an array of activities like hiking and 4x4 routes, curio shops and restaurants. We were most looking forward to the famous angel shop, Karua Angels. So we've just stopped in Willamore and I'm very excited to come to the Karoo Angels because I read up about it and it's each little angel is handcrafted using um, local ostrich feathers and a specific wire. So each one is handcrafted, they have all different ranges, all different names um, and they all got their own personalities apparently so let's go check it out. Karoo Angels started in 2006 when two ladies, Hanley and Gardi, received funds to implement in a small poor community and they discovered Fondling and that is where they trained the ladies to make art products and later on started making the angels. And the angels are made from feathers, beads, ostrich feathers and mohair is the head and easy coil wire as well as silver coated wire with ricocha beads and they are made handmade in a Ripron and in Fondelang by 18 different ladies, each making their own. Storms River Mouth is in Titsikama, just over 200 kilometers from Willamore, so we had lots of time for leisurely stops. I love these lunch stops next to the road, they make me feel like I'm on holiday. Just an interesting fact, this is why you always have your kitchen on the passenger side of the car, because it puts you out of harm's way of all the cars coming by. Hmm. Got some camembert cheese spread and some cold cuts to go with that. The landscape kept changing as we got closer to the coast, and so did the weather. So it's super rainy today, so at least we're spending a lot of the day in the car where we can't get so wet. But we've just pulled over next to the road, there's a coffee shop here, maybe we can get like a pancake, always nice in this weather, and uh, like a cup of coffee. And I think we're only about 25 k's from the campsite now, so it's just around the corner. The weather worsened the further we drove, and we knew that setting up camp was not going to be fun. When we finally arrived, we were welcomed by a restless, stormy sea. I just saw the ocean. It looks rough. The waves are very, very big. So it's not the greatest weather, but also there's a, a race, a famous race taking place here. It's called, it's called the Otter Trail. It's a race where people run like otters. 
Everyone was ecstatic, especially Simon. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> We're not camping in the rain, Dirk. Well, that's no fun. Camping in the rain really isn't the best exercise in the universe. But at least we got the tent up and we know it's waterproof, so we'll sleep dry if nothing else. And at least we've got a fridge so we can have a lucky drink while we watch the rough seas. So, worst comes to worst, it's hell out here in Africa. But it's still better than sitting in an office because I think it's like Thursday afternoon, four o'clock. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Niks nie, niks nie, meneer, ek zweef hier, niks, niks. It's party night. It's party night. Ja, it's probeer om warm te krijgen. It's party night, we were planning on having a party and we were... A beach party. A beach party, and now we're having the beach party by the beach. In the rain. But we're still having a beach party. Does it, does die fool? Does my fool, does my chick? Oh, what's a fool? Oh, that's my chickie. That's the ultimate adventure. <laughs> but our spirits were high in spite of the gloomy weather. Ultimate adventure tours include dinner, and we didn't want to miss out on even one night of Simon's amazing cooking. Okay, well, uh, Dirk has made me stand out in the rain to do this because he needs light on my face, and it's bucketing down with rain. Uh, it's dinner time, and uh, I, I was uh, in the mood to go for pizza, but uh, they said this is an ultimate adventure, so we have to cook in the rain. So, challenges accepted. Let's run, sir. On a cunt? I don't I don't just found my new sous chef. Sonia over here is a lot more efficient than this way. This way is fire. And really all you need is some good flour and a wine bottle. <laughs> That's it. This is how you want to wake up. Look at this beautiful view of the ocean and the birds are just all over the place. This is just amazing. And it stopped raining. Storms River was spectacular. And as the name suggests, it's known for its often stormy ocean and the wild beauty that comes with it. Titicama is a protected area on the garden route. It's a coastal reserve well known for its indigenous forests, dramatic coastline and the Otter Trail. In 2009, it was amalgamated with the Wilderness National Park and a few other areas to form the Garden Root National Park. This park is also unique in that it rains here throughout the whole year. 
The day turned out beautifully and we are on our way to the suspension bridge which is at the mouth. And it's a small hike and we just had lunch so that's a very good thing to do to have a big lunch before you go hike. I'm tongue tied, twisted around your finger like a piece of string. I'm winded, chasing after your ghost is real exhausting. I'm in love, but I don't think it's what I thought it was supposed to be. Love story, no cuts and no glory. The main aim of the reserve is to preserve the natural trees and forests that grow here. And to show off the splendid biodiversity, they have built a number of really enjoyable walking trails through the forest and along the coastline. Well spotted, Erki. Thank That's you. That's the first nice Naluri that we're seeing on this trip. Oh, they're so beautiful. I think he's building a nest because I saw him break off a twig and then he hopped to a spot, he or she, to a spot right at the top. And he's still there. The suspension bridge and lookout trail is a fairly easy stroll along the western side of the river mouth. Titsikama Marine Protected Area is situated along the 60 kilometers of shoreline and it provides protection for marine habitat and wildlife including birds and threatened and endangered fish species. At 186 square kilometers it is one of the largest and oldest marine protected areas in the world. The suspension bridge is 77 meters long and it hangs just 7 meters above the churning waters where the mighty Storms River reaches its final destination, the Indian Ocean. I love it when you can hear the rocks rolling under the waves, it sounds like thunder. It's always cool. Luckily there's a stream here because I'm quite thirsty and we forgot to bring water. Rookie mistake. Mm. So clean. <sighs> Stuff of life. Water is liver. It's something about This unique view and the ideal weather was the perfect parting gift from the beautiful Eastern Cape. So we've been promising Breibrekis for, I don't know, how long has it been, Andy? Forever? Uh, two days, two, uh, three days, three days, three days. <laughs> And tonight is the night that we're having a braai, so this is our contribution. It's literally got something from everyone on the trip. One person's peppers, one person's cheese, one person's bread. So this is a group effort. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. <laughs> on trips like these, where you share so many special experiences, strangers become friends and friends become family. And it's always sad when everyone has to go their separate ways. But Simon and Dez have a nifty little trick up their sleeves to help you remember the good times. Well, I've just uh, snuck behind the car here because at the end of every trip, we like to give everybody a little something to take away with them. So it's a little bit of bush magic. We take the group photo and I put the, our logo and the, the name of the trip on there. And then we print it out on our little Canon photo printer over there put it into a frame and then uh, after dinner we give everybody a little uh, souvenir to take home with them uh, which uh, always goes down pretty well, blows everybody's mind like we just took the photo, how did you print it? A mm. little bit of magic. I'm making the last salad of the evening. I've made a pasta salad for tonight. I've made a potato bake. I've made a strawberry cheesecake 
and tonight I'm trying something different. It's a cucumber salad with mozzarella, mint, spring onion. Something nice and fresh for a sunny day. Well, unfortunately, we've reached the end of the trip. This is our last uh, little sundowner. And uh, I think all in all, the trip went very well. Uh, we had a little bit of adventure. We had some bad weather, some good weather, uh, beautiful scenery along the way. And uh, I think everybody's enjoyed it. And everybody took all the uh, challenges in their stride, which is always nice. And uh, yeah, I think uh, we'll all definitely be back because um, it's a special place, the old Bobby Anscliff. And um, yeah, I really uh, would like to see it again. It's turned out to be such a beautiful day and with this uh, long lens the waves are crashing and actually cutting out the sun. It's just spectacular. It's magical. We've just had the most beautiful sunsets on that side of the ocean and now we're watching the moon rise because it's full moon! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Delicious food, good company and a full moon. It really doesn't get any better than that. This was the ultimate ending to an amazing adventure. There's always a lot of mixed emotion when we finish a long trip like this. Because on the one hand, there's the excitement of going home, sleeping in your own bed and seeing our cats again. And on the other hand, it's always sad to leave a beautiful landscape and new friends behind. But one thing that I want to say about this trip is it doesn't feel like we have been camping for nine nights. It's just everything in this vehicle is so well set up that it just makes it really, really easy. Because camping can be really hard, but not anymore. Those days are over. So I think our only question now is where are we going to go next? And the answer is anywhere we want.